Fish on. Can I? Fish on. Me quiero escapar. What's up, guys? Sadly, my camera was off, but check it out. First one of the tournament. Look at that beautiful, beautiful fish. We're out here trying to catch our three longest fish. This one was 16 and a half. Too bad I didn't get it on camera. You guys didn't get to see it, but here it is. Hopefully we can catch two more, two bigger ones. See you later. All right, guys, as you saw, that was my first fish of the tournament. We're out here, there's nine of us competing. There's Yacel Subal right there, competing against me right there one of our subscribers and we're hoping to catch the three longest fish the one you saw was 16 and a half hopefully we can catch uh two more before that sun comes out and then we can focus on catching some bigger ones so let's make that spool spin uh-huh yeah fish on <laughs> Te dije que donde hay una tiene que haber otra. Y es keeper también, eh. Más chiquito, pero sí, sí da la, la talla. <risa> no, es que. Y este se lo trago para adentro. Second one of the day, guys. There he is. I think he's gonna be a keeper. We'll see right now. A ver si deja tomar uno. Uno así. All right, guys. Second keeper of the day. 14 inches. We need one more and get our limit. Well, guys, I know a lot of you guys have been asking in the comments for Fat Boy Jigs. What happened to Fat Boy Jigs? How come we don't fish together no more? and uh and we have not gone fishing together lately he's got a very high paying job that requires his his uh full attention 16 hours a day so we just haven't been able to get out here our schedules haven't worked out but here is the last catch that fat boy jigs had while being recorded by fishing con velasquez Well, guys, we're going to make a move. We're going to make a move to a different spot not too far from here. I was pretty confident I would catch my limit at this specific spot where I caught the other two. But we're going to make a move to around the Nico rig, hoping for a bigger bite. This is the Guggenbait Lunker Log. There's Yacel right there catching his limit. And we're going to go fish some rocky banks, as you can see. And yes, we are going to get on the water pretty soon with Fatboy Jigs again. That was our last catch together. Um, so, let's get to our new spot. And hopefully, we can catch that third and final fish so we can focus on catching some giants. Fish on. Fish on. Hopefully it's a keeper. Oh yeah. Si da la marca. Si da la talla. Oh. No resolando. Me quiere escapar. Y está torrando otra línea. Oh. Está torrando otra línea. Y ya no lo puedo sacar. Es que era. Estaba torrado. Mi señor en una línea ya no lo podía agarrar. All right, guys, you guys can see the mess right there. He was hooked around another line. I couldn't get him out. My third keeper. Fourteen and a quarter. Almost gave fourteen and a half. Hopefully that that quarter inch won't hurt me at the end. But let's let him go. All right, guys. Well, 
the other day I went over to the aqueduct California aqueduct I was throwing the a rig around the wind was really strong and didn't want to let us fish but I did manage to catch a really really nice striper on the a rig so let's go check that out fish on guys fish on fish on what all Woo! fish on guys oh yeah Woohoo! yeah oh yeah guys check that out on the umbrella rig i knew it was gonna pay off eventually man you hear that wind i was fishing over by the bridge all the way down over here casting 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 i knew eventually something would strike and sure enough nice nice striper i don't know if it's a keeper or not but let's check it out here he is he's not quite a keeper also we'll take him i'll give him to Huero Padilla who's over there but you guys saw that man he hit that umbrella rig hard this one has made it impossible for us to fish but at least we caught one hopefully this is the beginning of something great see you later well guys as you saw that was a really nice striper that attacked the a rig will be back over there soon but for now we need to upgrade we got a 14 incher that we need to get rid of i'm gonna throw this around just a little bit more after that we're gonna throw some crankbaits some jigs hoping for that bigger bite so let's make that spool spin Well guys, I've been losing lures like crazy. This is what I brought with me today because I didn't want to bring too much because I knew I was going to be walking a lot. So I think that one of these jigs is going to do the trick. Another person you see in my videos a lot is Huero Padilla. He has a YouTube channel as well fishing compadilla go check him out I'll leave a link in the description for you guys so you can check out his youtube channel and see what it's all about but here's one of his latest catches he likes uh, catching striper at the aqueduct so let's go check that out big big nice nice one well guys there you saw it a nice striper caught by Huero Padilla um, I'm gonna tie on this little swim bait we're gonna hope for a reaction bite I have had no luck at all I'm even uh, being tempted to go back to the green trick worm I was catching them on so I'm gonna keep on trying what I'm doing right now if it doesn't work out we're gonna we're gonna have to throw a shaky head hoping for a big bite on a small bait which is not that uncommon if you think about it so let's tie this bait on and make that spool spin Alright guys, 1153 tournaments over at 12, last cast, and we're gone. We have a total of 44, 44 inches and 3 quarters, hoping that that's enough. Bueno Padilla is over there, Fishing Con Padilla, go subscribe to his channel, link in the description. Just said there's somewhere over there, I don't know if you can see him, trying to catch his limit, but I'm stuck again. And we're gonna, oh, there we go. We're gonna end it here. We're gonna go way in.